Nevada is getting ready to start reopening this weekend and one of many big stories developing right now. Thanks for joining us tonight live at five. I'm Trisha Keen and I'm Ty Quinones. So 13 investigates reporter Joe Bartels right now is live near Rainbow and Lake Mead and Joe the governor is moving up the timeline. I know this is welcome news to a lot of people. Yeah, Todd Trisha, he's moving up the timeline here. That stay at home order was set to expire next Friday. But as you mentioned, that timeline has been moved up considerably. So let's get right to it here. Uh, starting this Saturday, May 9th, restaurants will be allowed to have dine in service. Employees must wear face coverings. Customers also encouraged to do the same thing. Capacity will be capped at 50% of seating capacity. Barber shops, nail salons, and beauty parlors will be allowed to reopen, but patrons must be spaced out every other chair or there must be a divider between customers. Retail businesses are allowed to reopen and have in-store customers. They must limit the capacity to 50% of the fire code for the building. This now also applies to grocery stores, big box stores like Best Buy, Walmart, Target and warehouse clubs right now. Uh, we are doing tremendous. A lot of the, and again, I don't want to get as is it 92 percent, is it 95 percent? The vast majority of Nevadans are doing a great job, and it's only because they are doing such a great job that we're able to do this today. It's not because of the people that are complaining; it's because of the people that aren't complaining and are doing a good job. So what will remain closed? Bars, nightclubs, and taverns that do not serve food, they must remain closed. Gyms, yoga studios, dance studios, movie theaters, bowling alleys, community centers, strip clubs, massage parlors, and gaming establishments all remain closed here in phase one. But the governor says the next phase looks like it's le uh, leaning towards the end of May on May 30th. But uh, more businesses reopening with restrictions. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.